Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker barbecue beef brisket. Alright, I'm starting out here in my six quart pressure cooker. And I have it set on the brown saute setting. And like I said many times before, if yours doesn't have that setting, just put a pressure cooker high with the lid off. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. I have this preheated. I'm going to put in there about two tablespoons. Now I have four cloves of garlic here that I minced up and one medium onion. I'm going to add them in there and saute them for a few minutes. All right, now that my onions and garlic have sauteed for a few minutes, I'm going to add in my spices. I'm going to add a teaspoon of chili powder, and I'm just going to eyeball this, guys. I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and if you can't get that, regular paprika will do. I'll try for the smoked. All right. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of dry ground mustard. A half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And this is for heat. Going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And some black pepper. And this I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, I'm going to continue sauteing these onions and garlic and those spices just for a minute. Okay, now that my spices have sauteed in with my onions and garlic, I'm going to add in one cup of beef broth. I'm also going to add in some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add in a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And make sure you use apple cider in this. Alright, I'm going to add in two cups of ketchup. And I went over a little bit, but that's alright. Ketchup's like cheese, you can never have too much. Okay, give that a stir. Now I'm also going to add in a quarter cup of brown sugar. And this I'm just going to eyeball. Because I have my measuring cup all full of... Uh, ketchup there and I don't feel like making a big mess all over the place. Let's see that. That's about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to turn my pressure cooker off for a minute because it's starting to boil there and I don't want this to slop all over on me. Now I'm going to add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. that I'm just going to eyeball. Alright, now I'm going to cook this for a few minutes and then I'll get my brisket in there. Alright, now my barbecue sauce is cooked for a few minutes. I have two potatoes that I sliced in half and I'm going to place them in the bottom and they're going to serve two purposes. They're going to keep that beef brisket up off the bottom of the uh, pressure cooker and they're going to help thicken up my sauce at the end of the cooking. Now I have roughly a three and a half pound beef brisket here that I trim most of the fat off. I'm going to lay that down fat side up in there. Alright, I'm going to spoon a little bit of my sauce over top. Get it good and coat it. Alright, now I'm going to seal my lid on here. Make sure I have it set on there tight. I'm going to pressure cook this for one hour. Press start. That'll come up to pressure and it'll start the countdown from one hour backwards. When that's done, I'll be back. All right, my hour's up. I'm going to do a quick release on this where you manually release the pressure yourself. All right, my pressure's released and this is safe to open. And you always want to open these away from you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brisket out of here. I'm going to put on a plate and tan it with foil loosely for about 10 minutes and let it rest. Okay, while my brisket rests, I turn this back on the saute brown setting and I'm going in here with a plastic potato masher. I'm going to mash those potatoes up because it's going to thicken up our barbecue sauce. 
And if you don't have a plastic masher, you can go in there with a plastic spoon and just mash up your potatoes. And I'm going to allow this to cook for a few minutes. And those potatoes will help thicken it up, like I says, while my uh, brisket rests. All right, my brisket's done resting. It's been 10 minutes, and my sauce is thickened. I turn off my pressure cooker. Now I'm going to go ahead and shred this up with a fork. And while I'm shredding this up, I'd like to give a shout-out to a friend of mine. Her name is Cricket over at Cooking at Crickets. And uh, check her out, guys. She's got a lot of good recipes, and she has a lot of good home videos of family. So I'll put a link down in the description bar so you can check out her channel. And I'm going to finish shredding this up, and I'm going to return it back into that sauce. I also went ahead and made a baked potato front the side. So there you have it, barbecue beef brisket. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.